Hi, welcome to the Mule 4 tutorial. This is Akash. In this video, we'll discuss about these, how we can implement secure property placeholder in Mule 4 with using Studio 7. So for that, I want, I'm going to create one new domain project and, and then I will create one Mule project. So to start with, I'll just click on File, New, Domain Project, say Secure My Domain. I'll click on Finish. This will create one domain project which contains the mule domain config.xml file. So to implement secure property placeholder, first we need to add the secure property module in this studio. So we'll click over here. I will say add module. I will search over here, secure. So we'll have mule secure configuration. I will add this and click on finish. So this basically download the mule secure configuration property extension from online mule website and this will install in our mule studio. So this is done. I will click apply and close. Now we can use secure property placeholder in domain project first. So we'll click on create. We'll search over here secure property config. I will click on OK. So we'll have a file name and key. So file name we're going to use over here is uh, the YAML file. So for that, we'll create one YAML file inside resource. So file name, let's say dev.yaml and key. Let's say I'm giving my test key. This key we're going to use and algorithm we're going to use is Blowfish. I click OK. So this is going to basically add one configuration for that secure property configuration. And then we're going to use this configuration in our main project. So here we have secure property configuration. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create one more project. Before that, I will create one resource inside the SRC main resource new file. I will write dev.yaml. I will click on finish. Here I need to write whatever we want to in encrypt or decrypt. So let's say I want to decrypt uh, name colon. I will write, uh, let's say, right now I want to just decrypt Akash over here. I will write, after some time, we'll write the decrypted value. Right now I'm just writing Akash. I will save this. I will save this also. Now I'm going to create one more project. That is Mule project. Project name is, let's say, Secure Proj. I'll click on Finish. Now we have secure pros.xml file. Now I'm gonna drag one HTTP listener. And I will configure this listener. So for that I will create one new configuration. Here would be 0.0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0, .0. I will click OK and here I will give let's say secure. Uh, I'll save this. Now I'm gonna put one logger and inside that logger I will place whatever I want to read from that uh, encrypted version. So to so before that I'm gonna attach this mule secure project with my domain project. So what I'm gonna do is I will click on secure proj, right click on secure proj, go to properties, and then you will go to mule project. And then in here, a domain is default. I will se select secure my domain and say apply and close. So over here, you can see project domain is secure my domain, and this is my secure my domain, my domain project. 
I'm gonna save this now. Now what I'm gonna do over here is I need to decrypt encrypt this value. So in Mule 3 we have like directly we can do it from the Mule Studio, but now in Mule 4 and Studio 7 we need to use some other technique to encrypt this value. So for that you can go to sladex.org blowfish.js here you need to write your what you want to encrypt or decrypt here you need to write the key key is uh, let's say my key is akash123 it's a ecb base24 encrypt so this is my encrypted value i will copy this and i will go over here i will write like uh, in double quote, I will write uh, exclamation mark like this and I will save this. Now this is my encrypted value. We cannot read this and uh, we are gonna write this value name inside this logger. So for that, we will just go to the logger and configuration and here in message I will write dollar curly braces secure double quote i'll say name and name we are using name and yeah, i will use this over here i will save this now so till now what you have done we created one domain project we created one configuration inside that secure property configuration inside that we configure with the file name we configure with my key my test key is the key i will copy this and i will use the same test key over here my test key encrypt so i will copy the result from here i will copy the result over here and i will paste it in my yaml file i will save it so till now what we have done we have created one domain project we have created one secure property configuration with key and file name with a blowfish algorithm and CBC, which is a default mode. I will click OK. And then we have created one more project, which is our mule project. Inside this, we have secure pros.xml, which contains the listener and the logger. And logger, we are logging the secure name, whatever we have. So now I'm going to run both the configuration. So I will go to run configuration. I will say mule application. Here I will write secure proj. I will select both. I will say apply and run this. So this is gonna implement my, this is gonna first memorize the stuff, download all the plugins which are required. After memorization, it will deploy on my local. So what I'm gonna, gonna do over here is we're gonna read this name which is encrypted and we're gonna show that in logger. One more thing, if you want to secure your key also, what you can do over here is here you can give the dollar and uh, your value, variable value and at the time of deployment, there's a, there are properties, you can use those properties in Cloud Hub to pass this value so no one can access this particular key value. So still deploying. So once you are for the first time when you're deploying your application on Mule 4, 
this takes time because uh, we have Maven it download the stuff from online and do the all the stuff so now it's initializing the domain project Now initializing my the main project. It got fail. Let me see what's the issue. Sometimes you will face this issue, which is bad bl block corrupted. So this issue comes when you have problem with the, the key or you have the problem with the encrypted value. So once I will check again over here. I will just go to my Chrome. I will say my test key. The key should be let's say my test zero zero zero. The ECB. I will encrypt this. Copy this, and I will paste it over here. Okay, and now over here, I'm gonna edit this. I'm gonna use this. Sorry. I'm gonna use this key and this should be ECB because we are using ECB mode over here this is blowfish I'll click on OK I will stop this and save all the stuff everything and now I'm gonna rebuild this stuff So whenever you're getting like padlocking, there's an issue with the key or it can be issue with the basically it's not able to decrypt the stuff what you have, whatever you have encrypted. So let's see this will work now. If everything is fine with the configuration and other stuff, so now it's just nursing my domain project. Oh, yeah, I can see it. But the problem over, over there was we have used uh, the mode CBC, but over here we have used the mode ECB. So now what we're going to do is I just uh, open my postman. I will write local 81 slash secure was my path and then click on send. Here you will not get anything, but here in information you can see the value is decrypted as Akash. So in this way, we basically you can use the secure property placeholder in Mule 4. So first you need to create the domain project and provide the secure property configuration over here and the yaml file and create your own project and attach your own project with the domain project and you can use with the help of secure colon colon your secure name so this is for this video see you next video thank you